What is going on, Radar Force? Today we have the ultimate monstrosity, which is my Dragon Ball VHS collection, all the way from the very beginning, which is the promo uh, sample tape, to the screener, all the way to the end of Dragon Ball GT, with all the extra alternate artworks at the end as well. This is 303 tapes, to my knowledge, or maybe 301, I ain't sure, but that's all of them. Um, we're going to go individually into all of them. So we're going to get a little close up on this just to see. This is about 20 foot long. All three tables is 20 foot long. We're just going to get some good shots. Uh, some of these box sets are custom made, which helps me uh, hold them, like the GT boxes and the... Uh, Cell Games Great Salmon Box. Uh, I do have some custom ones for Dragon Ball as well. As you can see right here, uh, all of them did not come in a box set besides the Saga of Goku. So we're going to go into individual tapes here. It's a long journey. This is the ultimate. This is all, this is a complete VHS collection here. Uh, we're not missing a single tape ever released. Uh, that's even counting the promo tape and the sample tape, which were not meant to get into collector's hands but we have those as well. Uh, you may be wondering about the gaps here. The tapes in these gaps do not exist. I can prove that and the tapes after this do not exist. Uh, these four tapes right here do not exist. I just put them in there to complete that artwork. I actually have completed all the artwork on these sagas as well, but just for the video's sake, I am going to remove them. Okay, we are gonna go into this uh, one by one here. So we have the Curse of the Blood Rubies sample VHS tape. This tape sold for $1,500. Brand new sealed. Super rare. Uh, luckily, I did not have to pay that for mine. Secondly, we have the screener version of that promo tape right here. And then we have the official uh, Curse of the Blood Rubies uh, tape. Only released in edited format. That's why there's no one on top. And now we have the Dragon Ball The Magic Begins, which is the, I think, Taiwanese uh, movie of Dragon Ball, uh, live action, kind of corny, but it, you have it. Uh, only released in that version as well. Uh, next we have the Sleeping in Princess Devil's Castle uncut, Mystical Adventure uncut, and the Path to Power uncut. And on top we have the edited Sleeping in Princess Devil's Castle, uh, edited Mystical Adventure, and the edited Path to Power. Uh, right beside that we have uh, the Saga of Goku, which also contains Curse of the Blood Rubies, uh, edited film and the one through six of the Saga of Goku in edited format. They did not release in uncut format, so that's why I have two of the same copies. Same goes for the saga beside it, which is the tournament saga. You have Roshi's Request, Turtle Hermit Training, Fighters Begin, Semifinals, and the Final Test. Uh, this one did not release in edited format, so I have, of course, two of the same sets. Now we have the Red Ribbon Army Saga, which you have The Hunt is On, Silver, Assault on Muscle Tower, White Slash Stand, and West City Chase. Uh, this saga on the edited version, they did not release the first two. They released uh, Assault on Muscle Tower and White Slash Stand. To my knowledge, West City Chase does not exist in the uh, edited format. Uh, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Uh, if you have proof, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it does not exist. And beside the Red Ribbon Army Saga, we have the General Blue Saga. This is a four tape saga, but they did not release the second and third tape. Uh, the first tape we have Underwater Hunt, and then the last one we have Lost in Penguins Village. Uh, for the edited saga, I'm 99.9% .9 sure Underwater Hunt was not released in edited format. If you know uh, it exists, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it does not exist with my research. Then we have Lost in Penguins Village edited. Next saga we have the Commander Red saga. We have Danger for Hire, uh, Corrange Tower, and Battle is One. For the edited saga, we have the same three, uh, Corrange Tower, Danger for, Danger for Hire, Corrange Tower, and Battles 1. This tape is the se seven mythicals from this point on. These are insanely hard to find and probably the hardest to get out of all Dragon Ball uh, North American releases. Uh, next saga, we have the Fortune Teller Baba Saga. We have Five Warriors, Yamcha's Fall, Surprise Reunion, the seventh Dragon Ball, and Goku's Journey. And for the edited... All five of these are insanely hard to get. I called the last seven tapes of Dragon Ball the Mythicals. 
Oh, this is Five Warriors, uh, Yamcha's Fall, Surprise Reunion, the Seventh Dragon Ball, and Goku's Journey. Now we have the Tien Shinhan Saga. They only released one tape before discontinuing the VHS uh, in original Dragon Ball. We have Tien Shinhan Tournament Day and Tournament Day Edited. That is probably the hardest tape to find ever uh, out of these seven. Potentially, it's hard to say, but the world may never know. Uh, and that is it for original Dragon Ball. And the first saga in Dragon Ball Z is the Saiyan Conflict Saga. Uh, they did not release an uncut Saiyan Conflict, so I just have two of them, of course, to go with my edited and uncut. Uh, and yes, they are both factory sealed. All of my tapes are factory sealed besides a hand few. Uh, the next is the Namek Saga. It also does not have an uncut release, so of course I have two of the uh, edited releases. Um, like I said, did not exist uncut, so I have both of them. And here we have the first uh, uncut and edited releases. We have the Captain Ginyu Saga uncut and edited, uncut being on the bottom. Uh, we have the Frieza Saga uncut, and the Frieza Saga edited. Uh, all sagas for Dragon Ball Z have box sets besides the Great Saiyan Man Saga and Cell Games. Next we have Garlic Jr. uncut, and Garlic Jr. edited. We have Trunks uncut, and Trunks edited. I do not have that box set sealed, unfortunately. Next we have Androids uncut, and Androids edited. I recently got the edited box set sealed. Uh, Imperfect Cell Uncut, Imperfect Cell Edited, Perfect Cell Uncut, Perfect Cell Edited. Here we have the Cell Games. This is a custom box that I made. So no, it does not exist. Uh, we have nine tapes. I think we have a Moment's Peace, Ultimatum, a Guardian's Return, The Games Begin, Surrender, uh, Earth's Last Hope, Awakening, Sacrifice, and Nightmare's End. For the edited release, they did not release the last four, so you have a Moment's Peace, Ultimatum, uh, Guardian Returns, The Games Begin, and Surrender. They did not release the last four and edited. I did make custom tapes of that, uh, as you saw in the beginning. Next saga, we have The Great Sandman Saga, Uncut and Edited, Opening Ceremony, Final Round, um, something, a Gohan Secret Declaration, and Crash Course. So that same thing applies to the edited version. Next, we have the World Tournament Uncut and the World Tournament Saga Edited. We have the insanely hard to find sealed uh, Uncut Bobbity Box, the edited box of Bobbity. Next, we have Majin Buu Uncut, Majin Buu Edited. Extremely hard to find the box set, much less sealed like I have. Here we have the Uncut Fusion box set, edited box set. This is the hardest to find box set out of all Dragon Ball Z items. And yes, it exists. Mine is not sealed, but it is beat up. But to be honest, I've only ever seen two. And that is my copy and another guy's. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Kid Buu Uncut and the Kid Buu Edited Saga. And next, we have the Uncut Movie Trilogy, which contains the first three movies, Dead Zone, Tree of Might, and The World's Strongest in English dubbed. It also comes with a poster, a card game, a card pack, and a one-inch figure. Uh, I do have an open box, but it's not here. Uh, for the edited, I just decided to stick the four subtitled tapes because th these were not released and edited, but they were released in subtitled versions compared to the dubbed versions at the bottom. No, they did not release a box set. And yes, Dead Zone was released twice. Luckily, that it fits perfectly with the four tape box set, even though that one only has three. Uh, it just has cards that takes place of another tape. And yes, uh, they released the Dead Zone in a clamshell. Subtitled and a cardboard sleeve. The rest they just followed the cardboard sleeve setup, like such as you see, Tree of Might and World Strongest in the regular sleeves. Uh, next we have uh, Uncut Movie Box Set 2. Then we have the Edited uh, Movie Box Set 2. Then we have uh, Uncut Super Android 13 uh, and the Edited Super Android 13. Broly Legendary Super Saiyan Uncut and Edited. Bojack Unbound Uncut and uh, these two movies right here, the uncut versions for some reason, are in cardboard sleeves, and the edited versions are in uh, clamshells, as you see. Uh, next we have these uh, TV specials, The History of Trunks, and Bardot, the Father of Goku. Uh, uncut on the bottom, edited on the top. And they were, well, the Trunks were, were included in the box sets, but I decided to get them again just for uh, the movie's sake. Uh, now on to GT, we have the Lost Episodes Uncut, as you can tell. The middle tape is a misprinted, which is Ruination. Uh, the top tape uh, in the edited format of the Lost Episode Saga is completed in the correct artwork. So to get the complete artwork, you need the edited Ruination tape. Uh, uh, actually, I don't remember the individual tape names. Uh, 
but I have a list if you want to go through it all. Here we have the Baby Saga uncut, the Baby Saga edited. The artwork from this point on stays the same. If for some reason in GT they didn't change the artwork for uncut and edited, but yes, they are uncut and edited tapes. Here we have the Super 17 Saga uncut, Super 17 Saga edited, Shadow Dragons uncut, Shadow Dragons edited. Uh, the only movie for Dragon Ball GT, which is A Hero's Legacy, is uncut and edited. Uh, and no, there were no box sets for these GT sets. I just copied the DVDs and made my own uh, boxes to hold them just for storage purposes. Here we have the Dragon Ball Z Arrival uh, clamshell box set. This includes a figurine, as seen right over here. Right there. Um, this is the action, uh, no, this is the youth version. No, this is the action version. This is the youth version. As you can tell, the artwork is different. This is the uncut, and this is the edited. Uh, they only released the box set for this version, not that one. I also have it standalone sealed right here. Uh, and the Arrival VHS is actually the very same VHS as this one, but in clamshell. So that is the Arrival VHS, uh, both versions. The uh, action and the youth version. And here we have the uh, two alternate artworks for some reason for the Perfect Cell Hunt for 18 uncut and the edited they are different artworks on the front. And here we have the alternate artwork Z Wars Prepare. This is a Burger King release. They released this in Burger King for the Happy Meal. For some reason they did not re release the spine art for it. That's why it has no artwork for the spine. This is actually the third tape in the Trunks edited saga. Uh, it is the edited Z Wars repair, obviously, as you can tell right here. It would go right there, but for some reason, they don't have the spine. And that is it for all the VHSs. And if all goes well, I'll be able to get my friend's collection out, which is in that box, and be able to display it with mine and have the ultimate VHS collection with everything basically times two. So hopefully, if I have time, I'll get that out and show you guys. Oh, freaking K. This is the my VHS collection and my friend's VHS collection. He collected everything uncut and edited besides Dragon Ball GT. He really didn't care to get both sets of those since they make the same artwork. He also didn't get uncut and edited of the movies. Uh, but anything that makes an artwork he got uh, both releases for. Same like as you can tell he's got Saga of Goku. This is insane. This is really insane. He's missing a few of the edited Dragon Ball but they are literally insane and this tape just wants to keep falling down on mine just because of the weight of everything so it's just gonna have to be what it is this is insane and he has bail he has pretty much everything that I have sealed as well this is an insane thing right here and he also doesn't have these tapes but basically he has everything there that he considers for his collection. I go for 100% VHS, or 100% Dragon Ball Media in the United States. Look at this. If that isn't mind blowing, I don't know what is. Uh, and <laughs> I have to put all this up now. It's going to take an eternity. But the bottom two rows are all of mine. That is all 303. VHS's, I believe, to my knowledge, is 303. It's 301 or 303. I can't remember at this point. And the top two rows are my buddy's collection. And he, he's going to love to see this video. Pretty impressive. I must say so. But like I said, the only stuff he didn't collect was uncut and edited versions of the movies. He just got one version of the movie, regard, whichever one came first. Uh, same for Dragon Ball GT because he just... They make the same artwork, so I have both versions. So he just has random uncut and edited throughout that. Um, and same for the Dragon Ball Z movies. Now, I did give up some of my subtitled VHSs for him to have, and some random ones not sealed. So a few of these are not sealed out of his collection, but he did go for fully sealed VHS collection as well. And he's really so close behind me. Like, just the Dragon Ball edited is insane. Like, when will you ever see two sets? Two sets of the complete Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and movies for each corresponding set, all right here in one place. It is insane. Take it in, look at it. Here it is. Oh my god. god. This is insane to look at. This is one heck of video. Alright guys, so if you guys enjoyed this massive VHS video, please 
like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see on the next Dragon Ball video. But for now, this is all of the Dragon Ball VHSs. You guys rock, uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.